guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 2 of season 3, part 2 of Attack on Titan. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Okay, I had a quick question. Where the hell is Ymir? Because I know the last time we saw her, she was with them. And then she ran off somewhere else. Because I do remember her. The only reason that she wanted to come back was to get Chris to slash Astoria, but she ain't get her. So where the hell did she go now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, this is probably one of my second favorite openings of the whole damn thing. Mm. Sorry, didn't need to do that. Just had to adjust. God, that one looks so creepy. Sorry, they're just gonna show like what he did the last time when he has a previous episode. <laughs> oh. Unless you want to die. What is that? What's this face could be in there? Probably explosives. Look at that one! <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the way that one is standing. Yes, 10 out of 10. Where the fuck is he? I mean, you would automatically assume that he will be hiding in the wall with what's his face, but then no. And then I thought he was on the luggage. I don't think that either now. 
Why? What do you want them to do? In base Titan? See, um, I don't know about that. I'm a little scared for him to go against that thing. Um, Excuse me. Could have died. Mm, I don't mean. What the? Aaron, right? No, but then he could come back from there and then beat the shit out of the beast Titan, possibly. But like him escaping, running around, that's too easy, though. Distracted. Yeah. You don't go out. Ah, uh, and then he'll, he'll be wide open in the back, and then he can just 
maybe snap his neck off, and then we can kill him like that. Mm-hmm. Which is? Yeah, where the fuck he at? Hmm. Yeah, someone's a little too slow and off their game. Mm -hmm. You know. Thank God that we just had to see a picture because if they showed that scene over again, freaking video wise, I just would have been nope. Mm -mm. I'm so fucking scared. Better ask questions. Damn. But see the way the back looks, that kind of looks like a mirror. But you mirror not a ponytail, you mirror all the way out of hair down. <clears throat>
Ja. The question is, if you die, that's the thing. Because I could be wrong. I swear, by the end of this episode, he's just gonna crack his skull open. <laughs> Damn. And we, we spoke too fucking soon! Just basically size it. Watch that ass. But then who knows how long that's going to take? So are they going to play in a, like, stuff that there is no You know, the hardened punch is exciting. And like I said, who knows how long until Aaron says, like, he gets an opening for them. They ain't got blades this time. <laughs> Oh, 
So what, is somebody going to go outside, pull him out, and kill him right then and there? I mean, he's a traitor, and he has to die. I mean, it's like, either you kill him, or you don't. It's up to y'all. I mean, I kill him. I mean, let me say something. Once someone's a traitor, there's no way in hell that you can go back and be a friend with him again. If I see you be continued. Okay. I mean, you know what? It, it, that's not even a cliffhanger either. It's just <laughs> but until I feel like because of the fact, like, number one, Han, good idea, good on you, yes. But these cliffhangers, they're just not cliffhangery. And I feel like we're getting there. Probably by the time we get to three, four, or five. Since Erwin is now basically telling me by that he's gonna have to go against the Beast Titan, that's when the cliffhanger is really gonna come. And I'm not I don't know how to feel about that, but like I understand that with some of the characters, they're like, okay, but Reiner was once their friend. Like, we don't, we shouldn't have to kill him, but he is a traitor now. You can't look at him as a friend anymore. Once this dude did what he did, it's like, <laughs> there's no more friendship. It's like, fuck you, I gotta kill you. I'm sorry. Even though someone's gonna freaking tell me, like, oh my God, like, no, no, like, no, we don't need to kill him. Like, yes, you need to kill him. He's a traitor now. And, He's not going to be good anymore. He has his own reasons of why he's doing this. It's the same thing with everyone else. But it's either, I'm not saying kill first and ask questions later, but sometimes you have to kill them first and then ask all the questions that you have later, even though you're not going to possibly get an answer by him, by the dude who's probably the Beast Titan, whoever the fuck he is. And then, um, what's his face? And then, like, I'm still wondering about Annie. Whenever the hell Annie's coming back, even though she's like in her crystallization right now, and she probably doesn't want to come back for a long ass time. Now you fucking come. What the fuck was he at? See, okay. If, <laughs> if Reiner was hiding in the wall this whole entire time from episode one, then he could have been. My only guess is if he, like I said, if he's not, if he wasn't in the wall, I don't think he could have been hiding underground because then, maybe, but then, like, the only place I could think of is the basement, unless, like, somewhere else in the town, someone else hid there. I mean, not someone else, he hid there, like, if there's, like, another basement in another, like, house or something, or he could have possibly hidden the house until, um... Reiner started screaming, and then he comes out, and then, you know, Mika's is probably going to kick his ass, like, I can 100% sure about that. But, I don't know, I mean, uh, I'm stumped. I'm so fucking stumped right now. I, I literally, after I said, what the hell I said last week, I feel like now I have, like, everything that I said for who the fuck I think is gonna die, I feel like my list is now changing with only the second damn episode. And I, I can't even tell you who I think is going to die now because it's just, like, everybody has, like, death flags on them. 
And it's just gonna indicate when we get later on in this freaking series and finish it, that's when we're gonna find out, yes, this character dies, this character dies, that character dies. But there are still some characters, I think the three that I named, no Levi, I, I did say Levi as one of them, but, like, I took that back even after when I was editing it. Um, the three that I said, which I think was Adamine, um... Erwin, and then I think I said Sasha. I don't really remember because it's been a whole week since I've recorded and I've been so busy with other things. I think if I had to take the three now and maybe just say just one, specifically with this episode and learning more about what all has happened with him and his backstory, like Erwin. Even with him saying, like, I need to know what the hell is in the basement before I die. Like, for someone to say that, like, that's a big-ass death flag right there. So, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, okay, you are literally, like, kind of saying something. And I'm like, I don't want to see you get killed. But then in my heart, I'm like, I feel like you are going to die. And if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And then, like, how I said last week, and somebody even said a comment about what I said about the Levi thing, where if he died then um ultimately fangirls would leave like if it was like i'm trying to think of another character a lot of people like if it was mikasa even though we all know that ain't gonna fucking happen if she died you know people would be like oh fuck this like i i like some people will probably continue watching the show and then some people be like fuck it, i don't want to watch it anymore but there are possibly going to be characters like that who possibly 100 percent do die and if it's someone that they really care about some people might say like yeah i'm done with this show or no i think i'm gonna continue watching it just to see what's gonna happen next but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode two of season three part two of attack on titan if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next sunday for episode three bye guys